Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make advanced selections with channels that are gonna help you create better cutouts. Hey there, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. I'm so excited to show you channels. They are a very powerful feature in Photoshop. We're gonna use channels to refine our selection around our subject and be able to bring back more detail, especially in our subject's hair. So I wanna go ahead and cut out my subjects. The fastest way to do this is with select subject. So let's go up here to select and then down here to select subject. Let's go ahead and click there and you can see it's an automatic process. You don't have any control over it. It basically just selects your subject. And I gotta say, most of the time it does a very good job, but it usually needs a little bit of help, especially with hair and things like that. It's kind of difficult. So we have our selections around our subject. I'm gonna go ahead and load a layer mask. I'm gonna click on my layer mask icon right down here. There we go. And that's gonna put our subjects on a blank background. Now, just so I can see what I'm doing, I'm gonna go ahead and create a solid color fill layer, and we're just gonna make this white and then put this right underneath our subjects. Let's go ahead and zoom in to the hair of our subjects. And it doesn't look bad, but if I hold shift and click on the layer mask for this subject, you can see there's a lot of detail in the original hair that's simply not included in my cutout. And this is where channels come in. By the way, you can download this sample image and this PSD on flurn.com. You just follow the link down below. That way you guys can follow along. So jumping into channels, the first thing we need to do is get our image back to how it was originally. So I'm gonna hold shift and click on the layer mask, which you can see just makes a black, a, a big red X over my layer mask, okay? It temporarily disables it. So now that we have that red X, we're gonna go to window and then down to channels. So we're gonna start with our channels by clicking on our red channel, green channel, and our blue channel. Now you can see skin and things like that look a little bit different depending on what channel you select. And that's because it's kind of showing you how much of each color is in these channels. For instance, my red channel, everyone's faces are pretty light because there's a lot of red in your skin. In the blue channel, they're pretty dark because there's not a lot of blue in people's skin. Now, the goal when using channels is to look for the most amount of contrast in light and dark. So for instance, I wanna cut out this hair. So red, green, or blue. Well, in this case, and a lot of times with people, blue is gonna give you the most contrast because the person's face or the person's hair is gonna be darker compared to the background. So let's go ahead and duplicate that blue channel. We're gonna simply click and drag it right here to the little plus icon, and you can see I have a blue copy. Now what I wanna do is enhance this contrast, okay? I want whatever, like the darker object, I want to be darker, and the background, I want it to be lighter. So we're gonna hit Control or Command L for our levels, and then I'm gonna just make my darks a little bit darker. There we go. You can see we're enhancing this contrast, and we're gonna make our lights just a little bit lighter, okay? Not too crazy, but just a little bit, something like that. There we go, and we're using the difference between light and dark to make our selection. That looks fantastic, so let's go ahead and hit okay. So obviously this doesn't look great as an image, but keep in mind, we're just gonna use this to make a selection. Now, to turn a channel into a selection, it's actually very simple. All you have to do is hold Control or Command and click right here on the thumbnail. So Control or Command, click there, and you're gonna see it's gonna turn into a selection, or you can click on this little icon right down here on the bottom right, it looks like a circle with a bunch of dots. That's gonna go ahead and turn it into a selection. Now, a quick word of note, it always selects the lighter areas, okay? So in this case, it'd be basically selecting the background. So let's go back to our layers. I'm gonna just turn my layer mask back on again just by clicking on it, and our background is still selected. The light areas are selected. So what I need to do now is inverse my selection because basically what I want to do is I wanna paint my hair back visible, right? Because we can see the hair is just lacking a little bit of details. So. Let's go ahead and inverse our selection. Super easy to do, just go up to select and then down here to inverse. So now the darker areas are selected. So the hair, the shirt, the sweater, even his hair, anything that's darker than the background basically is gonna get selected. And now that it's selected, all we have to do is paint it visible on the layer mask. So let's go ahead and take a look at our layer mask. I'm gonna hold alt or option and take a look at my layer mask. Here we go. Now, this little dots everywhere, that tells me that I have a selection. I personally find it a little bit in the way sometimes when I'm trying to work, so I like to hit Control or Command H to hide the selection. You can hit Control or Command H at any time to bring it back, okay? So it's not deselecting, it's simply hiding it visually. If this is the first time you've hit Control or Command H, it might ask you if you wanna hide Photoshop or hide extras, just hit hide extras. 
There we go. So I'm going to hit Control or Command H. Now check this out. Because I still have my selection, and remember the selection is where the hair is, because I still have my selection, look at this. As I paint in, I'm literally painting in more detail. Let's go and zoom up here so you guys can see this. I'm painting in the details of this hair. So we're getting a much more accurate selection of the hair than we originally had through channels. And this is where the beauty of channels, look at that. It's amazing. Now let's hold Alt or Option and I'm just gonna click on that and we can see it in real time. You can see the hair just goes from, you know, kind of looks a little fake. Paint this in, there we go. And it's a lot more realistic looking. So we're refining our layer mask through our selection that we made in channels. This is gonna work with this hair here. You can see it's gonna look a lot more natural. Now I still rec do recommend using select subject because it's a fantastic way to get started, but channels, as you can see, are just a really good way to get more detail. Look at all that detail in the hair that we simply didn't get before. Now I can do the same thing with our sweater, so I'm just gonna make my brush a little bit smaller here. Again, because the sweater is darker than my background, I'm able to refine the edge of this sweater. Fantastic. And we're gonna go through and do this with the subjects here. Look how much more natural that looks. It's really, really nice. Now, this definitely works better when you have a light colored background and dark objects that you wanna cut out. You're always looking for contrast, okay? So that's what kind of what's helping us out here is the amount of contrast between our subjects and the background. But you can see my edges look much better. Here we are, and we'll just do the same thing down here too. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and just deselect because this area should be visible. So I'm just gonna paint that white on my layer mask. There we go, that looks good. And then it looks like we had a little shirt that got cut out too. So we just need to make sure to include that shirt. And look at that, our subjects are really well cut out. I can make this background invisible and we can see all of this beautiful detail in their hair. So I wanna just show you guys a quick before and after. Uh, to do that, I'm just gonna duplicate this layer and then we'll just do select subject again. So with just select subject, you can see the edges are kind of like a little bit gnarly, not like kind of crispy looking. We don't have all that much detail. And here with the channels, we get a lot more detail. So here's the, this is just with select subject. And then here we are with channels. You can see way more detail in the edges, especially like here around the sweater. Select subject kind of gives us this crispy, crunchy edge that doesn't look that good. And once we introduce channels, it softens it up and gives us a lot more detail. Now there's millions of uses of channels, but basically the idea is whenever you see a contrast between light or dark, you can turn that contrast into a very accurate selection, and then use that on a layer mask to cut your subjects or do all kinds of other cool blending techniques. Follow the link down below. You guys can download this PSD and sample image. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that little subscribe button down there. We're gonna send you a free tutorial every single week. Thanks again, and I'll learn you later. Bye everyone.